Hi, this is Jorge from 37 Signals. So today we are introducing Lexi, a new modern rich text editor for Rails. So we built Lexi on top of Lexical. Um, the text editing framework by Meta <clears throat> is the technical foundation that Meta uses uh, for uh, its products like uh, WhatsApp or, or Facebook. And it's a uh, fast, uh, robust and quite flexible uh, you know, technical framework for uh, building text editors. So what we did was uh, taking um, Lexical and build uh, a new editor for Rails that offers a, what we believe is a much better text editing experience compared to what we currently have with Trix. So let me show you how it works. So to show you how Lexi works, I'm going to use this uh, sandbox to test the screen that is uh, that we ship with the Lexi gem and that I'm running locally. So um, the first thing I want to highlight is that uh, Lexi generates a very clean markup. So for example, if I say, hey there, uh, this is a list, uh, you can see how the generated HTML is the canonical HTML you will write, including, which is a feature I love, uh, paragraphs. So we get to use the P tag for paragraphs, which makes vert styling vertical spacing in your text much easier than what you could do with tricks, where um, tricks was using divs for, for um, divs and BR tags for structuring paragraphs. So it made that more challenging. And for example, for introducing vertical separation between paragraphs, you had to enter uh, empty lines between them. And it was hard to balance uh, the paragraph spacing with uh, header uh, spacing. Um, so I think this is a much uh, better um, approach to the generated markup, uh, the one that we are using in, in Lexi or the one that Lexi generates. Um, okay, another, in the, still in the basic uh, staff realm, uh, you can do things like, for example, using asterisks to create uh, valid point lists or using numbers to create uh, lists. So um, this is very basic stuff, but those are basic expectations you have in a 2025 uh, rich text editor. So uh, Lexi will, will cover those. Okay, moving on to more juicy features. I want to talk about Markdown. So Lexi supports Markdown shortcuts, meaning that you can enter Markdown syntax and it's going to get converted automatically to, um, to, reach, to reach text. So for example, uh, I'm going to enter a second level uh, heading like that. Uh, uh, I'm going to enter a block quote with a greater than symbol. Uh, I don't know, you can, you can say, uh, this is in bold, you get the idea. You can type markdown syntax and it gets converted automatically. And same if you are pasting text. So if you paste uh, a chunk of markdown uh, text, it's going to get converted automatically to Lexis HTML, which is super handy if you're using an external editor for, for long form uh, writing before submitting something with, with Lexi. Um, okay, so that's Markdown. The next thing I want to talk about is uh, code. So uh, Lexi supports formatting inline code and blocks of code with real-time syntax highlighting. So you can say something like, hey, check the user class. You can take uh, you can select user and you can format it as inline code. And of course, you can also use the, the backticks uh, markdown uh, shortcut for doing that. Uh, and for blocks of code, you can uh, get real time syntax uh, highlighting by selecting the language. I'm going to use select Ruby and I'm going to say that hello puts there. And as you can see, syntax is highlighted automatically as you type, which is a huge improvement over what tricks could do. So uh, editing code is much better uh, in Lexi. 
Um, okay, another feature uh, is uh, about dealing with links. So for example, if I copy a URL and I paste it in, in Lexi, it's going to get auto-linked uh, automatically. You can see the link here, um, which is pretty basic stuff, but something uh, that Trix was lacking. Um, you can also say, hey, check this link, select the text and paste the link from the clipboard and you get the link generated uh, automatically. Um, which is super handy for doing something as common as, as you know, inserting links in your, in your texts. Okay, so that's Markdown links. Now I want to talk about attachments. So um, Lexi offers a fully action text compatible support for, for attachments. So that means that, for example, I'm going to uh, copy this screenshot just to generate an image. I'm going to, uh, hey there, I'm going to paste it here. You can see uh, how the generated markup is um, the same canonical vanilla markup that Action Text, Action Text stores for uh, tricks. So that means that uh, we are respecting, of course, that canonical Action Text uh, approach to attachments and uh, this makes editors interchangeable. So meaning that you can create something with tricks and edit it with, with Lexi while keeping attachments uh, working essentially, which is a pretty big deal um, for you know an improvement we want to do on action text that I I'm going to discuss at the end of, of uh, this video. Okay, so you get WYSIWYG um, attachments, you can uh, type uh, captions for them. Um, also another nice feature that is new in Lexi is that is if for example you uh, paste, sorry, you, um, well in this case I'm going to copy paste it. You could drop it, you could use of course the, the attachment button to select a file. Um, this was a PDF and I'm getting the uh, preview, the PDF preview, uh, com the, the preview that Active Storage generates, if you configure it, uh, embed in the editor, which makes for a fantastic experience because, uh, you know, that means that you are editing, you are going to, if you are using action text, you are going to get exactly the same representation that you are seeing in the, in the editor. Okay, this is something also new, something that Trix was lacking and a super nice feature in, in my opinion. Um, so the, that's attachments <clears throat> and the last feature, the last feature I wanted to talk about was, is a uh, prompt. So, um, Lexi offers, a uh, fantastic support for implementing prompts. Like for example, mentions, uh, I'm going to show you with an example. I can say, Hey, I'm going to type the add symbol and you get this menu where you can select, uh, the the uh, the person you want to to insert in the in the editor or the person you want to mention. So <clears throat> the details. I mean, the readme of Lexi is going to explain in detail how the API for prompts work works. Uh, it's quite flexible. You can um, customize how the HTML looks in the menu, how it looks in the in the editor also. You can configure it to load the menu items from a remote endpoint or locally rendered in line with the prompt. Uh, you can do things like um, uh, do, uh, filtering on the server side or on the local side. So maybe you are you want to do some free uh, text searching uh, when you press, for example, at like in GitHub. Uh, so, so whenever you type something, you go to the server, perform a full text search and return the results. We support that too. And, uh, well, I think it's, is, uh, and, and of course you can, well, you can insert prompt, um, items as free text, as free HTML in the editor, or you can use action text, the standard support for action text attachments, uh, as we are doing here. Uh, <clears throat> again, this is 
vanilla action text stuff, but it means that each attachment you insert in the in the editor uh, is refer referenced in an action uh, an active record record by its uh, global ID, meaning that on the server side you can process that record um, you know very easily with action text, or uh, you can leverage the standard support in action text for rendering such attachments, meaning you can define how a person is rendered when you rendered a mention uh, with action text, okay? So we are, uh, Lex is totally compatible with, with that, and actually it comes with a public API to build such menus. Okay, so <clears throat> this is Lexi. Uh, we are releasing Lexi today, right now. Uh, the project is Basecamp Lexi. The gem is called Lexi, so you can uh, add it to your project and start using it right away. Uh, you get the configuration, the options in the README for now. And um, I wanted to talk about like the, the roadmap or vision and the future for, for Lexi. So uh, something a big improvement we want to make in action text is making that in action text the editor is configurable. So just like with Active Record, with Active Record you can configure the database adapter um, uh, to support different database vendors. Here we want to do the same. We want you to be able to configure the editor you are using in action text so that you can use tricks, you can use Lexi or you can use, uh, you know, other editors that uh, uh, the community or other parties uh, can develop, like, for example, support for TipTap. Uh, so we are going to move in that direction. Uh, there is actually uh, a pull request by uh, Son Doyle from ThoughtBot. Uh, and I've, we've been talking about how to get that pull request to the finish line in order to make editors like uh, a configurable concern. And uh, that's a change I'm super excited about because it's going to be good not only for Lexi but for uh, Rails and action text in general that you are going to get to choose like different editors depending on your preferences. Um, we are going to ship uh, in the short term more features uh, because we want them for ourselves we want them for, for we want them for, for Basecamp. Uh, we are going to support tables uh, which is a huge a huge one. Actually, supporting tables was one of the major blocks we had with Tricks because we found that for supporting tables in Tricks, we had to rework a big chunk of its core and of its internals because uh, Tricks doesn't support like complex nested structures like tables. Uh, we are going to support uh, you know selecting text and highlighting it in different colors, which is another basic features we we need and we want. Uh, we are going to support image galleries, which right now we don't. Uh, it's a feature we want. Essentially, I mean, because it's a nice feature to have, but also because we want to offer full compatibility with uh, HTML generated with tricks, and we need this in place to do that. Uh, and of course, we're going to streamline, you know, everything, how uh, the gem is configured and uh, how it's distributed. Right now, it's a gem. We want to offer a standalone um, JavaScript package so that other frameworks that are not Rails or other, you know, users can use uh, the editor because the editor is essentially, you know, a bunch of JavaScript that follows some conventions and standards that Rails set. But it could it, the editor could be used in other uh, with other frameworks or technologies. So this is an early beta. Uh, we have been using it internally for a while and we are quite happy with it. Uh, but, you know, it's not something battle tested, so keep that in mind. We are going to ship this in a new product in Fizzy very soon. So, uh, you know, things are going to get better fast, um, but keep that in mind. This is an early beta um, and, and it's, not, uh, it's, it's, it's not super polished, uh, the level of polished or, or robustness you would expect with something that has been used in the wild for, for some time. Uh, so that's it. Uh, I hope you uh, like Lexi. Uh, please give it a try, report issues, and thank you so much for, for your time. See you.